How's it going guys and welcome to RC Cincy. Today we have a gel blaster for you guys. Uh, I've had three or four just gel blasters on the channel and I've had them anywhere from really cheap Amazon toy grade to Gen 8 that's been souped up with a spring in the barrel and it's easily getting close to 300 FPS. So I've had some nice ones. Pulsar Pro I think was a good one. So I've had a few um, but this one really caught my eye. Uh, just because the simple fact that it's $49.99. So to have something that shoots 200 FPS and has a hopper of 700 and is looks this good for, for $49.99 blew my mind. So really quickly, I'll flip this around and show you guys what it looks like, the actual picture. You do have a couple other models to select from. One I think is called the clutch. The other one is called the, what is it? Trace fire or something like that. Uh, one's like a pistol. The other one's like a machine gun. There is a QR code technically that you can uh, take a picture of or take a screenshot and maybe uh, watch a video about it later. You can also just type in the names. Um, so uh, the manufacturer is um, X shot. And it is the, the model number is the HPG 700 hyper gel so that's kind of a cool name um so let's go ahead and open it it does include some glasses and a nice little re uh filling little bottle so that's cool they included that um so yeah this is available at walmart i just couldn't believe the price because i remember buying the pulsar pro when it was like 85 dollars and i'm not saying the pulsar pro is not worth it that's a very good gun uh very reliable shoots 200 fps all day long uh, smooth 500 round capacity 1800 milliamp battery so it has perks but this one has the potential to be the new budget king so in the box you get a manual just pay attention to a few details like the fire select which is safety semi auto obviously and then uh, mag release and then you have a b and c on the top rail for low medium and high speed which we'll kind of go over that when we're shooting it as well easy to plug up and charge very basic stuff how to access the battery hatch which i'll show you guys and then some other safety warnings and stuff like that and how to reload which we will be showing you guys on the video obviously when we shoot it but it's not a bad idea to look through this um so first thing is ammunition and they do not cheap out 20,000 rounds this is 10 you get another pack of 10 there's a thousand in each one of these. I would imagine you would dump one of these into your container of choice. And they do include this little container right here. Uh, it should fit the 1,000 in there, I would imagine. I don't see why not. But dump the 1,000 in, dump some water, let it fill up. Uh, let it sit for minimum two to three hours. They properly get to the right size. If not, your gel blast will not work right. Then kind of hold your finger over it and allow the water to drain. Uh, should, does it have a cap? Yep, it opens up right there. Uh, just kind of hold your finger over it and let the water, access water drain. Of course, there is should be a slit in the magazine, so it should drain anyways. So you get the container. Of course, you get a charger because this is a rechargeable uh, model. This is, what is it? 800 milliamps times two, so fairly decent. Little circuit board that you can see, it probably has a green light or red light or green light when it's done. Two prong connector similar to a JST. I forget what it's called. It's called a uh, two prong JST or something weird like that. I can't remember the name of that connection. Always forget. Safety glasses, very important. By accident, you can shoot someone in the eye. It will hurt in the eye, especially 200 FPS will, it can bust your eye. So just be aware it can really hurt you in the eye. On your body, it's not the worst thing you felt, like a little sting, but in the face, yeah, it's gonna hurt. 
Uh, I wouldn't even mind like those paintball masks, for, especially for young kids. So, okay, the charger, this is the barrel attachment. I don't think it does anything being so huge. It may guide it, may guide it if there's like a stray or something, but honestly, I think it's more for looks. I really don't think this is like a hop up or something where it puts a spin on it or anything. This is more for looks in my opinion. And then of course, the stock. So what we'll do, the stock and last but not least, the mag. It is a clear magazine. You're gonna slide this open to refill it, which we'll show more in the actual shooting video. You get two contact points for the power, for the little drive motor in there. That feeds them. It's not like a airsoft where you gotta click and constantly keep tension in the spring. You don't have to do that with this one. It has a little motor. You can see the big slit right there that lets water come out. Very nice. Very similar to the Pulsar Pro. Once again, just a small, just a larger magazine, 700 instead of 500. So we'll just grab the gun. We'll throw the mag in there, bargain and sink. See how it clicks like that. Press here to release. Let's see, get a nice click there. The barrel should just push it in there. Let me set this down for a second. The back stock is typically, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like for like Nerf guns as well. So this will go in a lot of things like that. Press and pull just to remove it. Boom, boom. Then your fire select is on this side. All the way over with the S's, that's your safety. It just doesn't do anything. On this one, middle one, is semi. So you go boom, 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 you know, single shot is semi. And then all the way is fully automatic. <laughs> I had to say that, I just couldn't take it. So, <laughs> so battery compartment. <laughs> oh, there's the battery compartment. Tongue goes right in here, lever button, releases it, right? This is what impressed me. Let's see, what size of this battery? Jesus, it's huge. This is a 2000 milliamp battery, 7.4 volts. It is the uh, 18650s, the big old uh, Lion packs, very large uh, batteries, two of them together to get 7.4 volts, the 3.7 volts each, uh, simple connector, uh, impressive. This technically has more capacity than the Pulsar Pro. This magazine has more capacity than the Pulsar Pro. So if this is $49.99 and it can shoot and perform similar to it, this may be the new budget king, in my opinion. Now my Gen 8, I don't know. There's things I like about the Gen 8. We'll do a full comparison, all three or four of them, whatever. But honestly, there's things I hate about the Gen 8. I love the performance. But I don't like the mags, how much they hold and how they feed. I don't think they're that great. I think these magazines, for some reason, do better and hold more. Of course, you have the big drum mag. I don't know if it'll fit on this. Uh, a couple other models have those as well. So yeah, so what we'll do is we'll pay attention to polarity, very important. There'll be a notch, goes right in here, clicks, see how it's tight. There is a couple grooves there. The battery stays on this side. See how it won't go down? It won't move as much right and then the wire tucks into here and then of course you're going to reclip this put the tongue in the hole put the little notch in the hole push it forward see how it clipped then you get tactical rail underneath you get another rail here a big rail on top another rail on that side so you could put like a flashlight a red dot i mean you can buy real gun attachments my red dot i have for my gun you could literally put it on this it's hilarious or anything else. The front sight is adjustable. I don't know why, but that can, I guess, adjust the distance, I guess. I don't know, but that is adjustable. So it like kind of clicks. I'll put it back towards the front. I mean, technically you can use the iron sight, believe it or not, you can use it. Uh, so I showed you the file selected, the mag release. Now it's got another trick up its sleeve. When you buy this, it is in C mode. Just remember that. A lot of guys will forget and leave it in C mode. C mode is the lowest power setting. B mode, which is one notch up, is medium setting. Uh, A, all the way up, is max power. That's how it should come from the store. It was in C. 
So I guess in the beginning, to give it to a kid, like kind of get used to it, I get it. But if you really want to have some fun, or if you buy it for them and you don't want them to use the higher moods, this is hard to see. It took me a while to find. This is actually hard to see, believe it or not. Especially if you put like a scope or something on top, they'll never even know it's there. But this gun is insane. So really quickly, I'll put it back in C. We'll put on semi. This is kind of loud. I'll do it just a couple times to demonstrate. See that? See how I hold it in? It's not doing anything else. Semi. Uh, semi medium. See if it gets louder. Semi max. Uh, yeah, you can hear the power increase. <laughs> I love it. And then, of course, fully automatic. We're starting C mode, which is low power. Medium mode. And then high mode. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. So I like the fact that you can select different power ranges. Um, I like the way it feels in your hand when you're grasping it. You can really, like, shoulder it properly and use the iron sight. And then with, like, a nice red dot. Or you can buy, like, those little $50, $60 sights from Amazon. The little, like, picture, like the ones in the Call of Duty. You can get a cheap one because it doesn't have a lot of force and percussion. So those cheap sights don't usually work on bigger guns because they'll literally rattle to death. It doesn't matter on this. So you can buy a really cheap like red dot or picture or cog, whatever you want, or scope even, and actually use it. Yes, the ball isn't gonna go perfectly straight like a bullet, I know, but like, it'd just be cool, especially if you have one laying around. I'll mess around. Let me know in the description, in the comments below, if you wanna see my red dot, that's like $210. <laughs> if you wanna see it on this, I will mount it on here, and we will be using the red dot to scope people out. <laughs> I'll also put my I found a way, now I can't mount my foregrip, but I'll put like a flashlight that I want to get for my guy anyways. I'll put like a flashlight on here. We'll put all the attachments and bells and whistles if you guys want to see it. I think that would be interesting. So, I like it. Uh, you know, the refill, you just put them in here, let them soak good. Uh, literally dump it in the mag, make sure all the excess water is out of it. Excess water will come out of here. And this little motor, when I'm hitting it, is actually spinning. You can see the little wheel spinning. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but... If you pay attention, do you see it spinning? So it does, that's how it feeds. Uh, you know, decent little motor. It technically, if these were to ever go bad, that size motor you can find over the internet. I'm sure you can buy mags. If you go to this company, whoever makes this, I'm sure you can reach out and probably buy parts. Um, you can technically buy the this type of connector and batteries for sure, 100%. Um, probably Amazon you could find a battery I don't know guys if this can handle 11.1 volts I do have that connector with 11.1 volt battery so we'll see how it does if this gets enough views and enough interest maybe I'll throw it on 11.1 volts so let me know in the comments below if you want to see that so there you have it guys I think it looks good I like the way it feels man <laughs> I like it I really like this gun so it's all gonna come down to how it shoots and how it feeds and how much power it has and how accurate it is. If it's gonna take over the uh, the budget king, I think it will for fifty dollars. It's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to shoot like absolute crap not to win. Like as long as it shoots on par with it, it's gonna overtake it just because of price, bigger capacity, bigger capacity battery. Uh, you can actually change the power, not just the semi fire shot because the other one you'd have like a little switch that you'd switch down from like semi full and then safe so you have more features more tactical rails the stock comes off like you have a lot more going you get 20,000 rounds you get the glasses and the bottle so and the nice glasses the red ones actually match the gun so kudos and the packaging is very similar to the Pulsar Pro like the plastic liner the way it fits in there so that's kind of crazy so I think, I don't even say they cloned it because this looks totally different. It looks like their design, their model. I wouldn't, I'm curious to know if it has like a metal, like, uh, uh, like a metal tube or some kind of polymer tube or something to get the 200 FPS. I don't think it's metal or aluminum. Who knows? Uh, and once again, if you guys show enough interest in it, 
I may even take this apart and show you the internals if it has nylon or cheap plastic gears and if it can hold up to 11.1 .1 volts. If so, I'll try it. I have not too punchy of a battery. I think it's a 35C uh, 2000, yep, 2000 uh, connection and it's that two prong connection right there. I actually used it for my Gen 8. So it's technically a battery that would probably, it's a long cylinder battery, let me see. I could probably get it to fit because it's not, it'll probably fit just, yeah. Yeah, it'll fit. It should fit in that space. So we'll see how it does. And if you guys enjoy this and how well it performs, if it's worth it to go any further. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I think this is pretty cool for 50 bucks. Uh, we'll just see how it shoots. Stay tuned for that video. We'll be coming. We'll be shooting cans, all kinds of stuff. Shenanigans. I'll have her shoot me, see how good it shoots, how, how hard, you know, how it feels. And we'll go from there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.